Oh, but let's see what happens. Anything happens in the throwdown case. That's shorter. So scoring just proving elusive at the moment. Curl now crank from close range does get us underway. The result earlier today, and Bryce Cotton he's just gone past him again. And Barry Brown's up to third as Xavier Atar Mays makes some room for himself and opens Melbourne's to back it up. What's your reasoning other than he's your favourite player and you bought every jersey they've put out there? <laughs> Goldie exploring takes them all on and gets it done. Man, tough team. Creek uses Brown and gets it back. Two to beat, worried out of the points. Offensive rebound from Williams. He's gotten better and better as the season has progressed. For sure. Well, well, I mentioned a little bit in the opener. So he had that 29 and they lost by 25. He had 30 against United when they lost by 26. And could you read a whole lot into it or is there more the other side? Or is he going to be able to get out of people? It's going to be a very nice thing to tune into. Keep a watch for it on the socials and keep a watch for that man, Marcus oh. Lee, as well. Here's the Amy replay. Alan Williams is going to come up that high on the screen. Trying to post up now. No, they want Williams against Peatling. Double team arrives. Has to get it outside. Knocked down three. All the bottom of the net for Trey Kell. Now Williams continues to build his numbers here. Good from the stripe as well this season. The margin's into double figures already. And coast to coast. Nice work there from Rattan Mays. Inside the last four minutes of the opening quarter, Phoenix have had it on their terms as Newley gets past Adnam and down low, Newley opens his scoring account. Shot clock to single digits here for the Phoenix. As Tarangi looks to the inside to find Pinner. His turnaround is all the bottom of the net. Three offensive rebounds for make that four offensive rebounds already in the first two minutes. Here's Golding firing this time. That's why you shoot it, Case. That is why you shoot it. Let's edge a little closer here. They were down 10 three minutes ago. And Tom Mays shares it with Barlow, who's overdue, and he knocks down the triple. It's a two-point game. You know, Kell. Shot clock, single numbers, and Kell pills off the two. And that is a nice mid-range hit. Trey Kell, I know, doesn't light it up from outside. If you continue to back up off him, he's just going to walk into a mid-range jump shot. And this man is just a professional bucket getter. So just a, as you can see right there, hesitated a little bit, crossed, went back right, takes the hit. So they almost coughed it up. Last play of the opening quarter, Phoenix by two. Creek wants it, Creek gets it, makes room for the triple, and knocks it down. Big finish to the opening quarter from the Southeast Melbourne Phoenix. <laughs> Defensive work off the ball here from the Phoenix, just giving Melbourne nothing to work with. Golding, he has to turn it down. Rattan May, shot clock at two, hustling Diva Buff. 42% on his career, and he's hit more than 500 of them. Most active players, no one shoots it better statistically than Dave Barlow as Gary Brown comes up with a three of his own. This has been the case from the tip off. He seemed to have the answers as Tucker. Double pops, nice finish under pressure. And Tucker's coming off of his best game of the season. 23 and 10. Oh, boy. Easy two for Kerry Brown. They're going to stretch the floor. And that's the bonus of just having him stand on the three-point line. It's a tough finish from Tucker. But you can also see what Mitch Creek doing. So the margin is six. Almost three minutes played here in the second as Tucker exploring against Brockhoff. Bounces into Williams and would not be denied. Game through the final series last year. That was a good day. Until it rained. Oh, Creek gets an easy two there as Melbourne go to sleep and the margin's back to seven. He's been the dominant force. Melbourne to Phoenix to a seven-point lead. Took over four minutes played here in the second quarter. Love pass for Lee has been effective. But he knocks down another. It's a super competition when you look at it that way. His retire is taking them on and coming up with a finish as well. He's got eight now to lead Melbourne. And so Ram continues to take over the scoreboard. Brown elevates against him and knocks down two of his own. So he's up to seven. Chris Golding talking about the playing game, chasing potentially fifth and sixth spot. I love that because that's true. When you look at that, some other teams, the way they're performing, you've got to figure out what are you trying to get to. That's too easy there from Creek. He's been outstanding. An exceptional job defensively on reading the scout. So get a quick release shot as well. And it tumbles for Kell. 
Oh, man. The Browns pass. Exceptional to Kel. He drops a beautiful dime one to two times again. Hens Creek hands over. Golding. Two of five from the field. Golding. Contact there with Mitch Creek that went unwhistled. And Marcus Lee will get it done and a chance at a three point play. Anyone case can get a pair of pumps sorted by tomorrow. <laughs> it is this man right in here. You go, you're one phone call away. <laughs> Tamay's off the mark, Golding, open, and comes up with the finish. And United with Newley. And lost the handle, under pressure. Here's Brown handing off to Williams, who comes up with the finish, adds another two. 15 points were off those for the, Mel for the South East Melbourne Phoenix. If they can tidy that up, we've got, definitely got a ball game in this second half. Here's Newley looking to get Melbourne going in the second half and does. But here's Marcus Lee and Aquera putting it on the deck. Tough shot, shut down by initially by Brockhoff, but got it done nonetheless. So notice that's been a big change right now for the Phoenix in terms of on the defensive end. One set the tone, Trey Kell's getting up and about, and there's that handle from Gary Brown. Oh my. How quick. A little between the legs and he's gone. And Brockhoff ready to tee off. But being too undisciplined, they're not trying to hack. Just let them try and score through the body. Oh, tidy handover there from Aquera to Newley, but they go on with it. And Newley from close range helps himself to two more. Kel. So by Newley, likes his chances, rushes down low, and Lee swatted it away. So the Phoenix just five points for them here in three and a bit minutes of action since half time and it's come unstuck again and Rattan Mays time out here Tom gets Mitchell. the layup but it's back to a two-point game so the emphasis is going to be on Trey Kell to continue to get up and into foot fight over the screens to be a primary defender so Gary Brown's going to have to continue to do that the guards off the bench Trey Kell pulling it up on the other end right now the shot clock rolls to five once more Tucker needs to get busy here against Mitch Creek Forced into a ball away, all the bottom of the net. Nice finish. That's just great. Golding goes back to him. Baseline. Get to Barker. An opening for him. And with the shot clock expiring in the background. Phoenix three of ten from the field since half time. And haven't been to the free throw line. So the offense is just spluttering at the moment. Brown elevates and helps himself to two more. Shot clock rolls to five for Rattan Mays. It's Brown confronted by Pino, and here's Newley working baseline to come up with another two. Big third quarter for Brad Newley. Right now, Melbourne have worked their way back into the frame. Less than two minutes out from three-quarter time. Brown exploring off glass adds another two. So Rattan Mays with it. Shot clock a single digits. He goes solo. This time he knocks it down. So 13 in the game now for him. Last play of the third, Brown will poke from behind there. Rattan Mays sprung it loose, and now he's got a chance to add another two. Oh, and the tip-in belongs to Mason Peedling on the buzzer. He throws it down, puts a lid on two. Oh, still nine minutes, Case. Could still happen here as well, but you may never see it again in the NBL. He could be the last person ever to make a 1,000 threes. That is an incredible feat. He may be the last one. I mean, there's not too many more. Tucker grabs the rebound and he's off and running as well. Tip of the paint, nice move and an easy two for A. John Tucker, who's got 12 in the game. Tucker snatches another rebound. He coughed it up though, and now Chance Brockhoff. Brown in support, Creek joining in. Three on one, fast break, and Brown adds the finishing touches. 16 to lead all scorers for him. Play through him. It's Brockhoff. Oh, wow. A bit of Tucker. Wide open. And Brockhoff knocks down another. His second three of the night. But he, he knew exactly that was a mistake. Peatley from close range. Rattles around the rim and gets the two. And the only thing you can do is try and jump out and try to block him and then fly by. Sets his feet. Oh, May spinning baseline. Nice move. Nice finish. Melbourne are one of nine from deep since half time and none of five in this quarter. They're almost overdue, you might say, as Golding oh, oh, comes up with a triple. What a hit. 997. Over the hands of two defenders. 
Here's Williams, a nice finish from him from the foul line as well. And they've turned it over for the 17th time, Melbourne. Phoenix have 11 in that category. Williams muscling up down low, shut down there by Marcus Lee. But it's been two years since they've lost four in a row. This is right at the moment, they've got five on the shot clock. And Tucker takes on Brockhoff. Couldn't get it done. Now, time is the enemy of Melbourne United here. Red numbers on the shot clock now for the Phoenix. Brown must get something happening and quickly. He fires the three. It's off the mark. Pete Now they get Golding involved against Mitch Creek. Comes across Williams. He fires. He's off the mark. Gary Brown now. A floor general. That's why I say with Joe Chi back in the lineup, I think they're legit. They scored the first two of the game and led at every change, and they are going to prevail. And the Southeast Melbourne Phoenix score back to back wins over their crosstown rivals, Melbourne United, for the first time in franchise history.